my name is adwit sachan and today my brother karnik is going to make a python website using picenter okay hello everyone and today i am going to make a registration app using picenter okay now first we have to make a file known as store dot txt now what we have to do we have to say from no no sorry import ticketer now we have to call ticketer okay by using tk okay now what we have to do is we have to make a label known as tick b function if you want you can name your uh, variable anything okay now we have to make a get a text argument where we are going to write welcome to a quick center registration app okay So this is an LIG center registration app. Whatever you want, you can write Adbut registration app. You can write Karnik register. Whatever registration app you want, you can write the name using this. Okay. Now you have to write font and just write denote this, and you can write the size fifty. Now guys, you have to write a dot main loop. and let's see the output guy uh, before that guys this is not working because we have to also pack b b dot pack and now let's see see it has made made this we can also make it much more bigger okay guys If you want, you can give whatever size you want, but this is a constant size. Okay, guys. So, guys, this is how we can make it bigger. If you want, you can. But since it's not good, we are going to make it much smaller. We are going to make it fifty. Okay. So this is much better. Now we can start making our. entries okay so now we can make the name so lrg center registration okay for the name okay guys so we have to write a label again we will add the text argument so please remember that guys okay now you have to write name and we will give the same entry but we'll make it small since it is not a title okay so we are going to make it for only 20 and we are going to pack this and we will check it after again by running so it's definitely working okay guys now what we are going to do is Now what we are going to do is we are we have to make an entry. Okay, for entry is like inputs where we use like in for example in Google, we see like this guys like inputs in any registration website. Um. So yeah, guys, like these, these are known these small boxes where we can write the text are known as entries. Okay. So now let's make an entry. Okay. And we use d dot pack for making that. But once we run, we see an entry over here. So this is the text where we can write. For example, my name is Karnik. So we we can write any text over here. Okay. 
now we have to make a new function so we are going to make four four things name age uh, office id and office id and uh, and your uh, and office id and the yeah name age we are uh, name age for now we will only uh, then i will plan for the other things also okay guys so let's check so since it's a registration app so we don't need all that so we are going to write name age your hobbies and your work okay so since it's a registration app so we are going to do only that and where do you live that address uh, your phone number okay guys so after that we are going to write age as planned okay now we are going to make an entry again with f okay guys so the same thing so now guys we have completed our age also and now we are just going to pack it using the pack function so we can see these elements by the pack function so if we don't pack it we cannot see these elements okay so now we have got the elements of age and name now we can make the same elements for your hobbies and your hob phone number okay and your phone number so we are going to write e1 f2 just like that guys you can name i am going to name it as g and h okay okay now we are going to write hobbies and now we are going to use a combo box for the hob uh, chosen hobbies guys so the combo box for example so if i show you a combo box see this this is a combo box guys sorry yeah this is a combo box where we'll have options for choosing our things okay okay guys so now we have to make a list for that okay no sorry we have to write l we can write anything i'm going to write that as i and then we are going to add some hobbies such as drawing so guys it will not work with tick enter so we have to import one more module known as ttk okay guys okay so guys as i was saying we have to import one more module for the combo box known as ttk so we will import it in the next line so from tick enter import ttk so we got it now you can write ttk dot combo box okay guys and you have to write one more keyword known as values and just write like that and write i so it's going to get all the values and now we are going to pack g and h g dot pack h dot pack okay guys so guys now we'll have the hobbies drawing martial arts dance swimming playing and coloring okay now now you can even write a entry also guys and you can get uh, okay guys now since we have written i and we'll write j and k now we are going to write phone number
guys so now we don't need a combo box we are going to we are going to just use an entry for this and now we are just going to pack J and K ok guys so now phone number is also added ok guys now we have to make a button for this so if we want to complete this job and store the information in store.txt now we have to use a button for that ok since we have given L in the top we have no we have not given so we are going to write L tick enter Uh, tick enter dot uh, now we are going to use a button okay for this yes we are going to write a text inside this obviously known as store submit and it will store this submit and store okay guys now we are just going to say, uh, just back it off. Okay. Now, there's a button now, guys. Now, we are going to make a function. Okay. We are going to make a function after everything. So, guys, initially you will get an error if you are making a function. Uh, because of indentation, guys. So, but we are going to write some lines of code here, okay? So, def store, okay? Don't uh, forget to put the parentheses, okay? Guys, so guys, it's finally ready, but I'm going to explain you the code till now. So, guys, we have made a function known as store without with no parameter, and now we are opening a file known as store.txt. I showed you it. At the starting of the video where we will store the information by the uh, from where we wrote the entries okay so uh, we have opened it as L variable now we, uh, we are going to uh, like we are going to use the name we are going to get the information from the D we are going to get the information from the F we are going to get the information from the H uh, from the H variable and we are going to get the phone number from the k variable and i have packed it in one text and it's going to write the name of the name of each thing okay guys so now it has finally come so i wrote my name karnik and uh, you can change it okay fine guys i'm going to run it and show show it to you guys so name is karnik 19 Okay, uh, you can uh, actually 12 now you have to write your hobbies write swimming write any of your hobbies here which you like or else you can even add your hobbies of your own in this list this list which I made and I added uh, packed it in the values argument okay guys now I'm going to write the uh, phone number 96867555550 and it will store this new one see guys it has stored it okay guys so this is what the code is in the next class i'm going to show you how to detect whether you have written a text or not written a text so see you bye